Hello and uh, here we are again. I've just started putting this blessed Londoner bus back together again and just realised I'm not filming it. So let me catch you up. What I've done is I've sprayed the bus, uh, a lovely silver. I remember it was that horrible, skanky, horrible, faded red looking orange. I sprayed it with this lovely high coat Vauxhall Star Silver, the Silver Jubilee. It, it was only a £2.30, £2.40. Uh, nearly empty now. I have to get another one. So I've I don't know if you remember I split the um wheel insertion there, so I've just reinforced it with a tiny strip of cable tight super glue and baking powder. You will not see that repair once it's all back together. I've popped back in the lower half of the uh, plastic insert. I tried polishing it up and cleaning it as best I could. It's not too bad from a distance, you can't really notice the scratches. The top half, I managed to find the broken piece of the mechanism, uh, the, the pillar in that little hole, so I've fished that out. I've customised the broken part with uh, about 10 mil of, actually more than that, probably 15 mil of um, pop rivet post. I basically drilled a 2 mil bit, inserted that, snapped it off. That will now act as the mechanism for the doors. So if I just... <clears throat> Give that a minute. Pop that lower half of the deck. If I get it in the right way, that would help, wouldn't it? Really, stupid boy. So I'm just going to fiddle around with getting this lower part of the deck in without breaking anything. He says, "Very, very thin, fragile plastic. This is so. That's it. Clunk, click." That means it's gone in. And now the fiddly part is these lower doors. So <clears throat> I might have to tilt this at an angle to keep it in situ. So that one goes there. Ah, oh, stupid twit. That one goes in there. Keep it all nice and there we go. And then, do you remember that little white bit I thought I'd lost originally before I stripped it down, but it actually ended up it was inside of the bus because that post snapped off. It had just come off the top there and floating around. No, that's in. Excellent. Now, where's my other part? There he is. So now, if I just lay that flat. Oh, those doors have dropped back. I need to get this lower part out again. So I really want to... Put that there. So keeping that tilted slightly, I'm going to put the top deck back on. So there's some handy little grooves there that fit over those door posts. Stops them moving about. And then if I just, that hole there, snap it back into place. Lovely. Well, it doesn't snap. It just sits on top. So, yep. So the top of that pillar is basically, as you can see, it's coming out for the top of that upper deck. So that will keep that together, and now we need to pop the top on. Now what I'm going to do is just very, very gently just pop a little bit of super glue just on those rivet posts. That should hold the bus in place. Little tiny dribble there, little tiny dribble there. I normally use the gorilla glue, it's a lot more viscous and it's, it doesn't come flooding out when you least expect it. So if you remember, there's a tab on the end of the bus there, on the front. So put that in first on the front of the bus, just slip that in and then press the back home. Just press it down and that is the bus together and it should stay together. Brilliant, happy with that, ecstatic. So that's the bus, it's not looking too bad. That silver looks pretty good on it. Yeah, no, right. So the next part will be, I really don't like that scratch on that rear window, but how can I do about it? At some point, if I find a really good insert, I couldn't find one online, I'm just going to have to just split the bus apart. It won't take much. And then pop a new insert in. And these decals were just a couple of quid. I mean, they don't break the bank at all. So what I've done is I've made little notches in the front of the decal to make way for the mechanism. On the front there, I just had to cut that little piece out. 
So if you remember, all you need to do is just get yourself just lukewarm water. Roll the decal there. It's got a tendency of rolling up like that because it's so long. But once you get it wet, it should flatten out a bit. And just pop that on the side. Let it soak up some of that water. Oh, that's a devil this is. And I'm only going to do one side at a time because they're so long. I'm not going to try and rush this. Now remember my technique from last time. Pop a little bit of water on the bus so that you can just position the decals as you need them. So I'm just going to take that off there. Oh, for Christ's sake, why did I put sticky... Just like the bus on its side, just going to dab a little bit of water just on the side of the bus. So when the decal decides to separate from the backing, I can position it correctly. Get rid of those things. Get rid of those. I'll tie up a bit while that's soaking, so I don't want to catch any of the decal on anything sharp. That's the bit of plastic I rescued from that upper deck. Good thing to see that. So that's the top of the pillar that snapped off. Tiny little bit of plastic like that nearly ruined my day. I shouldn't get so stressy, should I? Okay, so let's see if you remember from last time if the decal is free to. Yep, it's coming off. So I'm just lining that up with the front of the bus. So we're just gonna. Oh, here we go. Well, you don't need to come off that way, don't I? So don't worry, because you can reposition this on the bus. Just pull the back end of the decal out. Like that. And then you just need to, with a wet brush, if it drops a little bit, just lift the decal up and just pull it forward a bit. Ooh, try not to tear it, because these can be very fragile just lifting that decal up with the brush there that's in place there so I'm just flattening it out it needs to go a bit higher with my brush just get rid of any air any creases just dry the brush up a bit Now then, just get a cotton bud, again just ease the water out from underneath, ease the water out, here we go, see where I've cut it, it's got a little bit weak there, so I'm just trying to gently just squeegee any air bubbles that's it that has almost worked so where have i put i've got a little eye swab thing here somewhere and i've lost that already i'm on one of those days where i can put something down and immediately it will disappear yeah that's gone where the hell it's gone, I have absolutely no idea. It was here a second ago. Gonna have to use that one, probably. No, it's a bit brittle, that one. I don't know if it's had some sort of chemical on it. It's super glue or something. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to make do with that ice wall. That um, cotton bud, it, it seems to have done the trick. It's got most of the water out. As you can see, this okay really just pressing that decal into its space there yeah no, that's looking good it's good no that's looking brilliant that's it
Excellente. So that's one side done. Do the other side now. So again, a little bit of water. Now this moulding is, the, the, yeah, there's a, probably about half a millimetre to three quarters of a millimetre of overhang on the top deck. So these castings aren't perfect. So we'll try and get this to sit flush, but uh, yeah. So again, we'll just rest that on the side, just wait for the decal just to separate from the bus, from the backing paper. So that's looking, yeah, there's enough water on there, really just to... Keep it on. So wait a few seconds and it should. Start separating, Let's give it another little dip. So just to remind yourself what you're oh god damn it. Sorry for any religious people. Um so basically I started the sticker, the 1952 bit, just beyond that first window. There should be a little yeah, there's a little mark there on the casting, so I shall hopefully do the same. That should now that's it, let's go in. Slide the bugger off. If I gave myself enough room, it would work. Move that up a bit. Move that up a bit. Move that up a bit. So there is a sort of a line within the casting itself that you can line these transfers up or these decals up to just to position them straight level, not looking too shabby. So just with a toothbrush again, I'm just trying to ease out any little air bubbles. Soak up some of the water as well that's on the surface. Because the brush is soft and pliable, I can just tease that slightly ridged area of the casting. Yeah, just work the decal into there. Just keep drying it off just to stick it down a bit. And that is not looking too shabby. Again with the cotton bud. Bit firmer this time. This ink is waterproof. It's professionally been printed off. So it's not going to run all leak like your household printer would. So that's that one on. Looking good. I say there is a slight ridge on that casting. So nothing I can do about that. I'm not going to spend hours filling it and flipping, making it look all pretty. No, with this one, you get one for the front. So, again, dip it in the water. Leave it on the side just to soak up. Now, I've got a smaller Londoner bus that I've... Uh, have for several years now that's still in the box the original lesney um matchbox lesney one it's in a blister pack so we'll show you at some point this is looking good this is going really well i'm happy with this yeah no i'm pleased with that yeah looking bloody good Okay, really short. Oh no! How did that happen? That's come away. Ooh. Now this is what happens sometimes. 
I don't know. That obviously wasn't stuck down. Luckily, it's not torn. Bloody hell. I suppose when I cut it down, I must have just weakened it on that seam there, on that weather. It's not a problem. I can just tease that down a bit. Wet brush underneath. Some water there just to help it slide back into its... There we go. And you won't notice that that's come apart when it's dry. Oh my word, talk about panic. What are you trying to do to me, bus? What are you doing? Right, that is seamless. You'll never notice that that's broken off. Right, I'm just going to leave that alone, let it dry. I'm not going to handle it. That's probably me handling it because it's such a long sticker, long decal. I keep saying it's a bloody sticker, it's not. Bit of water there, let's get the front on. No, just handle it from top to bottom this time. Just get those decals lined up. That's it. So they do slide around quite a lot, so you've really got to be careful because once they're dry, they tear if you try moving them. So I'm not going to handle this bus anymore. I'll roll that water out. In the air bubbles. I'm just going to leave that bus alone now. I'm frightened to touch it now until everything dries. Oh god, that frightened the hell out of me when that came off. I thought I was going to have to start again. There. There's lovely, as they say. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to let it all dry, let it all settle. And looking pretty fantastic that's the right color of silver I think that looks pretty good so just bear with me a moment so there's the um, number K15 matchbox king size whatever you like to call them us and here is a normal number 17 the Londoner 1972 and as you can see it's virtually the same isn't it I think the guy's I don't know where he's got his um, stick he might have scanned one of these to get his decals the same but that is it that is the same bus but obviously a smaller scale um, and this one has got a red interior um, really good condition cost me 50 pence at a car boot sale this one did and i've got one exactly the same still in its blister pack and there's a slight manufacturer error on the one of the blister pack i can't get it out of the cabinet at the moment is the sticker is slightly too high this the, the, the sticker is up here these are paper stickies not they're not decals or paper stickers um the stick is actually too high on the one in the cabinet so it's a, a manufacturing fault. it's never been opened you've seen me open these before um do london the buses um, with the Londoner bus, so the rivet post, the same as the K15 there, the rivet post is at the back. And if you watch the previous couple of videos, you'll see how to strip these apart. And there's another version of a bus, a Lesney Matchbox Lesney bus. This is a type, um, this says Lesney, oh, Leyland Titan. This is 1981 Leyland Titan. Um, 
different to look at. This is a special edition one. It was also obviously made years ago for FA Cup winners, Wembley 1987 Sky Blues. Oh, Coventry. There we go. Coventry City. I haven't touched this. By the looks of it, it's not a homemade job. It's definitely factory produced. It's never been a part. So obviously the decal was on original. So it was, yeah, done as a special edition, I suppose. And I do have the box somewhere for it. There we go. It came in the box, but it was opened. Um, yeah, it'll go back in the box probably. And I might even flog it on because I'm not interested in buses with football teams on. If, if a Coventry City fan, let me know. And I'll uh, give you a good price on it. So there we go. So there is the Silver Jubilee 1952-77 to London the bus. Large and small. Don't know why I've got this. And actually, I'm looking at the two colours. Those silvers. Are, this is a bit of a darker silver, but it's not bad. I like the silvery silver. This actually needs a bit of a clean. That is really dusty in there. So there you go. Little and large. Done. So I um, hope you're impressed with that. And I'm not sure what I'll be doing. I'll still keep on promising to do this little Thames bus. I don't know whether to do it. Is it a Thames or Leyland or whatever it was? What was it called again? Thames, yeah. I don't know whether to do it in two colours or to do it as just one colour. Because I hate masking off and doing two-tone colours. I haven't decided. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that. That was a bit more of a fiddle than I anticipated. However, it is done now. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, any comments, please like and subscribe, as they do say it on the videos i've got some chrome pen i might just touch those wheels up as well um so i hope you've enjoyed that and i'll uh, catch you all again soon thank you and bye bye